Hey guys, it's Jay with Master of Tone Pedal Demos. I'm so glad to be back making another video. I've got some new gear. Uh, I just bought a Vox AC15 head. Uh, it was the first amp I bought in six years. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I've been playing out of, if you guys have seen my videos before, I've been playing out of a Vox AC4 TV, just a real small four watt head. Uh, the only controls on that head are volume, tone, and then it's got a uh, attenuator that takes it from four watts to one watt to a quarter watt. Now this amp was great when we were playing with the, with the full amp and speaker on stage uh, because it's good at low volumes and it doesn't make your sound guy mad uh, and you can get the tone you want at those lower volumes. But we did something a few years ago where we set up uh, extension cabs in uh, isolation boxes uh, in the closet of our stage and uh, I've been able to crank that amp and get that really nice cranked tone. The problem with the AC4 is that it just doesn't have a whole lot of headroom. You get up to those, those nice levels and then it's just overdriving uh, and you kind of lose that sparkly clean that Vox is so famous for. So I've finally been saving and I finally was able to this week buy the Vox AC15. Uh, and I went with the head because I already have a cabinet with a Vox Blue speaker in it. Um, so I didn't feel like I needed the combo uh, for that, but I got the head. It's really, really cool. Uh, and I just, I kind of wanted to show you how I use it, uh, how I set it up, uh, and then uh, how it works in, in our sets for the weekend. So hope you enjoy. So these are my settings on the Vox. Uh, when I was using the AC4, I needed a whole bunch of stuff because it, it only had a tone knob. So I was using this pedal, which is a MXR EQ. Great pedal, really good pedal. A little bit noisy, um, but it was great for dialing in my tone a little better since I didn't have bass and treble controls on the amp. Uh, with AC15, I've been able to get rid of this, so that's nice. The other thing I was using, I was using the Big Sky cab filter on my pedal board all the time. Cab filter always on. I don't know, it just, the, the, the amp by itself just kind of sounded a little flat, so the cab filter really brought in some of that sparkly uh, quality that I wanted that in my tone. So I had that always on. The first thing I noticed when I got the AC15 is I no longer needed that. No longer needed the EQ pedal because I've got bass and treble controls there. I no longer needed the cab filter. So I shut that off and it sounds better than ever. Uh, I'd like to note that I do run into the top boost channel uh, just because I feel like it has a little bit more of that sparkly top end uh, that, I, that I really like that it really helps cut through a mix. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it sounds like, and then I'm going to show you how I use it along with my pedals uh, for some certain songs. So this is, uh, I'll talk about the guitar for a second. Uh, I've got this uh, Strelicaster is what I call it. It's a friend of mine's guitar. Uh, she let me play it this week. And it's a Strat body uh, with a Mexican Tele neck, which shouldn't work, but for some reason it does. So I'm really excited to play it. I put new strings on it. I had, of course, I had to put the tortoise shell guard on it because it's my uh, trademark. But uh, I'm really excited to play it, show you what it sounds like. So here's the guitar. All the pedals are off. This is running straight in to the amp. No pedals, no cab filter, no nothing. Just straight up amp tone. <laughs> I really love about this is that with the Vox AC4 I had to kind of really pull back on how hard I strummed because if I strummed too hard it would just overdrive and kind of push push the front end of the amp too hard uh, for what I was looking for in that in that sparkly clean sound and I didn't want to go to a fender because I like the way that Voxes break up when you push them uh, but it was just breaking up a little too early so that's one of my favorite things about the AC15 is it 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 pushes and it sounds great and it's sparkly, uh, but I can hit hard, I can really strum hard and have a very, very usable clean tone. Much more usable uh, than, than the AC4 uh, and I don't have to have a whole bunch of extra things to kind of to get that sound. So now I'll kind of show you what it sounds like. I kind of just do one thing, I just add a compressor is all I add and it's real subtle. Uh, you've heard it on some of my other videos. Uh, all the compressor does is just kind of give me some more sustain, give me a little bit of, of uh, just extra girth in the sound. And that's it.
that's it. That's the Vox AC-15. So now I'm going to show you uh, how it sounds in an, a worship set. I'll show you the, the parts that I play and, and, and the pedals that I use to get some sounds for some songs. So the first song we're playing this week is Unstoppable God. Uh, and for this song, we're playing it in the key of D. So I like to put the capo on the second fret so I can play those C shapes. And a lot of the gear talk guys are going to get all over you saying not to use a capo. But I feel like whatever serves the song. If it serves the song to have a capo and you can still play your parts, uh, but as a singer especially, sometimes I need to have something where I can play without looking. Uh, so I definitely use a capo a lot, and it's totally okay to use a capo. For this song, I'm using uh, just a couple pedals. I've got reverb on the amp now. My AC4 didn't have that uh, option, but this one does. So it's really great to have just uh, a shorter reverb on the amp. That way, I can really pull in the big sky just when I want to instead of having to have it on all the time. So I've got reverb on the amp. I'm running the left side of the kilt, which is just uh, some a decent amount of drive. It is my second stage drive, uh, but I don't have it set super high. And then uh, 132 beats per minute, a dotted eighth delay on the DD20. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> The second song we're doing this week is King of My Heart. So what I usually do for this is I've got the pitchfork set up on kind of a chorus-y setting. I've got the big sky in my uh, cloud reverb setting. Uh, I'm running at 68 beats per minute with a quarter note delay on the DD20. And then I'm also going to run a little bit of a dotted eighth tape delay with the LCAP. I'm going to start this song out clean, um, but then I'll go to some overdrive from the morning glory. Uh, in this in the chorus It's really big is where I'll I'll cut off one of those delays so that I can strum a little harder and and it's not getting so washy and swallowed up third song uh, that we're doing this week is Jesus We Love You. We're playing it in the key of B. For this song, I have the two delays set again at the same tempo, which for this song is 116 quarter note, one the analog on the DD20 and the tape delay from the L cap. I'm still on the medium cloud setting, which is my favorite kind of overall reverb setting. Uh, and I'm using the Morning Glory as well. Uh, now I'll kind of turn the morning glory off for the verses and just have clean for the verses and then we'll go um, We'll hit that morning glory for the big choruses So I'm kind of doing the rhythm part here because I am singing this song So I'm kind of mixing together a little bit of the acoustic part uh, and then just some chording in the in the chorus So it sounds like this <laughs> things have passed away your love has stayed the same your constant grace remains the cornerstone 
So I'll kick on the overdrive in the chorus and really just hit some big chords. Oh, Jesus, we love you. interlude into the bridge it's where I'll kick off the um, the L cap kick off the tape delay and just really kind of dig in uh, I'll switch to the bridge position on this guitar as well for that a heart to do it i hope you enjoyed this video of the vox ac15 and my pedals and how i use them together on a sunday morning thanks so much for watching my videos guys thanks for subscribing uh, i hope to get more of these done here soon uh, so you can keep watching my videos if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe uh, also follow me on instagram at master of tone thanks for watching <laughs>